For an intimate meal, exotic, dreamy, chicken tikka masala is rich and creamy. Add marinade to each diced breast in a bowl to give it zest. Fry it with fresh cream, not too thick. And don't forget the turmeric. Sniff the aroma, taste the spice, then serve it up with naan and rice. You've just heard a rhyme about chicken tikka masala. I'm going to show you how to make it. This is how you do it. Really easy recipe. What we've got, nice big bowl here. We've got some chopped ginger here. Just add that into the bowl. And we've got some chopped garlic, so put that into the bowl. And then we've got some ground up chilli, so straight in as well. And then we've got chopped coriander, the stalk and the leaf. Make sure you chop up the stalk as well, because it's full of flavour. Just sprinkle that straight in. And then in with the diced chicken. It's all diced up into about one, two centimetre dice. So just straight into the bowl. And then we need to add some lime juice. So put the bowl to one side, get lime, and then just cut that in half. And then squeeze the lime into the chicken. Make sure you get all the juice out. Give it a really good squeeze. And then again with the other half, really good squeeze. You want to get all that juice out. We'll just give that a really good mix around. Make sure all those flavours get onto the chicken. And then just put that to one side. If you can leave it for a couple of hours, do so. But you don't have to, it's not essential. Chicken's to one side, we'll get this pan nice and hot. So turn the gas on. It's quite important to get the pan really, really hot so we get lots of colour and flavour onto the chicken. What you can do, you can add some oil to the chicken or you can put it in the pan if you want. I'm going to add it to the pan. So, one teaspoon of oil there. And then we'll add the chicken straight into the pan so we get nice, nice sizzle. If it doesn't sizzle, it's not ready. As you can hear, it's sizzling away. Once the chicken's into the pan, give it a really good stir around and get some colour on all sides. Then we've got some chopped onions here. Add those straight into the pan. And then we've got some chopped red chilli and some ground turmeric. Just pop those into the pan. Again, give that a good stir around and we're going to let that cook for about eight to ten minutes till the chicken's firm. Chicken's been cooking for about eight to ten minutes here, so you can see it's, it's almost cooked now. So all we need to do is add the cream. Give it a good stir around, let all those flavours incorporate in with the cream. We'll let that simmer for about five minutes and then we'll taste it and see if it needs any seasoning. It's really nice, but it just needs that little squeeze of lemon juice. That squeeze of lemon juice will really make the difference with your curry. I'm going to serve it with some basmati rice some naan bread and then some more fresh coriander and that's how you make an easy chicken tikka masala.